Your this perp back with another video and I just got out of watching memoirs of a snail. This is a stop motion animated movie and it's really dope that we're seeing some more stop motion animated movies. Earlier you had uh, on Shutter the movie stop motion. Here you have pretty much is a drama slash uh, um dark comedy type of vibes this is following our main character gracie and her pretty much telling her story to the snail her pet snail sylvia about her tragic story with her and her twin brother and man this was a really dope movie not only was it probably one of the saddest movies i've seen this year I feel like it's very relatable for some people and you see everything from the moment she's born to just her relationship with her twin brother, how close they were, how much they had to kind of endure dealing with the loss of their parents, dealing with a lot of different life changes, being split apart where her brother had to go live with these uh, religious nuts and she had to kind of stay with these swingers now mind you this is not a stop motion animation movie for children it is rated r so keep that in mind don't just look at the animation and think oh yeah this is going to be great for my kids to watch no this is definitely too mature for them um but yeah, I really like this movie. Like I said, it just goes through the different motions in her life. And there's just all this tragic stuff that happens. But there's also some glimmers of hope. There's a lot of ups. You know, she meets this uh, girl, this woman named Pinky, which ends up being her best friend. And that, that ended up being like some of my favorite moments of this movie. And just all the people that kind of come into her life and use her and abuse her like mentally all shape what she goes through as an adult she ends up becoming like a klepto and also a you know a hoarder so it, it also touches on mental health as well and it just has a really interesting style like you could definitely tell just by the character um designs it's very tim burton-esque like if tim burton were to make like a rated r stop motion animation movie it would definitely be this but i really like that this movie has a lot of heart it has a lot of tragic real life things that go on and that go on in people's lives that I definitely think is going to touch a nerve when people watch this. And I really enjoyed it. I would recommend checking this out. If it if it's playing by a theater near you, definitely go run out and check this out. But if you want to wait till it hits streaming, I'm pretty sure it's going to be on streaming before the end of the year. But if you get around to checking it out, let me know your thoughts. How did you feel about it? I, I will always say that we need more stop motion animation even though i know it takes a lot of time and it's also interesting that gracie's character in here is involved with stop motion animation similar to the movie i referenced stop motion that came out on shutter how that was a stop motion movie about stop motion you know so kind of have that kind of meta theme going on and just dealing with life stuff i think this is definitely going to be up a lot of people's alley if you're looking for this type of movie but anyways that's just been my brief thoughts on this movie let me know how you guys feel about it like i said till next time i'll see y'all in the next one peace